going on everybody so today in this video we're going to be looking at the various autofocus modes on a Pentax camera uh, specifically we're gonna look at AFC and the different modes that are available when you're shooting that way because there seems to be a lot of confusion in regards to uh, focus tracking and how that's actually set up uh, now you have two different versions of auto which I do not suggest you use because the camera will not allow you to focus on what you think you're focusing on. I'll explain that and show that. I actually have another video explaining that which I'll actually link here in this video and in the description. Uh, on top of that, uh, as you can hear, there's a lot of wildlife, uh, a lot of Canada geese. Um, ooh, actually, here comes some now. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, come on, where are you? Oh man, yeah, hold on, hold on. Here we go. And it would help if I had the lens cap off. Oh wow, that's a lot. They are facing the wrong way though, because you're already coming overhead. Anyway, alright, so back to what I was saying. So basically, with the different autofocus modes, uh, you do have uh, select, uh, which th you can then enable the expanded autofocus, so it'll actually track across the frame. Uh, I'm going to be pretty much, uh, it's going to be hard, but I'm going to try to hold my camera, sorry, hold my phone and take video through the viewfinder while I'm doing the focus tracking, so you can actually, hopefully you'll be able to actually see exactly what I'm doing uh, and how the camera actually does do the tracking across the frame. Um, again, do not use either of the two auto modes. Uh, use select and enable expanded autofocus. Uh, those are the settings I always use. And the other option is spot, which will only use the very, very center focus point. It will not track across the frame. Uh, yeah, and uh, we'll uh, look at the autofocus hold setting on a Pentax K3. I believe the K1 has it as well. I'm not sure about the KP because I don't personally have a KP. But uh, in regards to the autofocus hold settings, we'll go through that as well. Uh, all right, let's just get right to it. Blah! Okay, so for the start of this, I'm just going to use the full auto autofocus mode uh, where the camera selects whatever focus it feels is what you're trying to achieve. Um, basically, it just works by basically just picking the closest object with the most contrast to what you're trying to shoot so I'm going to try to get these seagulls way back there and we'll see what happens uh, okay so there's one shot and oh no didn't take that all right I'm just going to oh all right, nope. See, just got a branch. It's not what I was intending on getting. I was going to do the view through the viewfinder, but uh, that was actually proving to be a lot more difficult than I thought um, because the view that I could see was way too small to be able to accurately shoot anything. Uh, and I have no way to mount the phone to actually have the camera shoot through the viewfinder, so. That made it a lot more difficult as well. I'm going to try another one in between the branches here. And... It's not too, too bad. Oh, okay, I take that back. Yeah, when just a little offset, it makes a big difference. Like I said, it'll just pick whatever the closest thing is. All right. Well, enough of that, because that's just not going to work, and I already know that. So let's switch to... Spot. Spot's good. Um, the only problem is it doesn't actually do tracking across the frame. It'll just stay at that one focal plane and if something's moving horizontally across the frame it won't continue to track that's the only issue and I lost the geese 
Lady Seagull coming in. So, I mean, spot's okay. It just doesn't do any tracking. That's the only thing that I don't like about spot. And my favorite is select with auto focus expanded which I had mentioned in another video and I do have a video uh, which as I said I'm going to link in regards to why you should not use the full automatic modes you should not be using the full automatic uh, focus modes because they are intolerably inaccurate uh, especially when you want a specific thing in focus. It just doesn't work very well. Uh, I wish I could have actually shown you guys the video through the viewfinder so you could see exactly everything that's happening. Um, I guess I'll try to find another way to show uh, the highlighted areas and stuff as you're focusing on various things. Um, I don't really... Yeah, this is a lot more difficult to put these videos together when you have limited equipment, but I'm doing the best I can, so just bear with me. I mean, it may not be the most ideal, but hopefully the point gets uh, gets taken. Not now. Nah, at this point, I'm just randomly shooting various photos of the seagulls, but I actually want to go find something where I can actually do some tracking uh, without actually having to move the camera around, because th those are a bit too far away. Uh, to really show inaccuracies and whatnot, so, uh, actually, let's see. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to move to a different place and we'll try this again. Okay, so, I'm still in the same spot because, uh, just double checked my autofocus hold status and uh, my hold status was actually set to off because I was doing some experimentation. Uh, I just changed it to high and I noticed that horizontal tracking is absolutely insane. Um, it's completely ignoring trees and it is actually tracking the seagulls as they're flying. It's absolutely remarkable but I know you just have to take my word for it because you can't see what I'm seeing in the viewfinder. And I am using back button focus as usual. Uh, those are my settings. Um, if anyone knows any way where I can actually record straight from the viewfinder, please let me know because uh, that would really help me illustrate all the stuff that I'm trying to get out there into the Pentax YouTube world. Um, you know, it's one thing to explain things, and it's another thing to actually show it as it's being used. But that one, you will actually see a shot right through the trees. Didn't even, it was like the tree wasn't even there. That's absolutely insane. Yeah, it's like, oh man, yeah, it's like the tree wasn't even there. That was absolutely crazy. Uh, so that right there shows exactly how the autofocus hold works. So that actually might accomplish what I was trying to do. And we'll do a few more through a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's see here. Fly through something, fly through something. You know, the only thing is, you can't let go. As soon as you let go of the autofocus, then the whole tracking totally doesn't work. But, as long as you keep the autofocus active, then you're good. Ah, yeah, just missed it. It's a little counterintuitive. I'm used to releasing the button and then reacquiring focus, but you don't actually have to.
All right, so I think that's a pretty good demo of uh, in between the trees and everything. Well, there you have it. The difference between full automatic autofocus, select autofocus with expanded autofocus enabled, and spot autofocus. So I hope this video helps you out. Sorry about the audio. Uh, when I was shooting through the viewfinder, my mouth was further away from the microphone, and it got a little muffled, but hey, what are you going to do? Anyway, you guys will see me on my next video. I'm out.